All right, so this is Larry the Mortgage Guy. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, I know the first live you did, the first live that I attempted to do was kind of a debacle, but it was kind of fun, right? And that's the reason why I love Facebook Live. It's literally a reality TV show. Uh, so uh, the, the goal was to get myself sharing a screen with my uh, real estate buddy, here, uh, as you can see, Robert J. Russell, because we have a major announcement that we want to uh, announce, I guess. And uh, and honestly, I'm very excited about it. Uh, whenever uh, Robert approached me with the idea, and uh, I, I think you guys will be just as excited. So, uh, without further ado, uh, Robert, you want to take over, boss? All right. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I want to tell y'all that anybody who follows this guy is crazy because I'm watching his stuff and I'm going, oh my God, what an idiot he is. <laughs> with all the social media stuff, so I thought, you know, if I want to team up with somebody who's doing the social media and has the mortgage experience, that's the guy. So if y'all are following him, keep following him. Um, so the reason I brought this thing up is because – I've been licensed now in Texas for 18 years. And out of the 18 years that I've been licensed, 17 of those years have been going after for sub owners. Um, some of you are cringing at the idea of calling a for sub owner. But here's the deal. These for sub owners are holding up a sign that says, hey, I'm selling my house and I can do this without you. That's what they're doing. So the reason that we're going to have an all-day event is we're going to teach you step-by-step step how to call for sub owners, what to say to them over the phone, um, how to contact them, how to handle all of their objections, how to send um, automatic emails, how to send thank you replies, where to get free leads. Now, this is a big topic for me. <clears throat> um, many of you, well, maybe not many of you, some of you are paying for leads from Red X or Fizbo Hot Sheet or, or wherever you're getting them. <clears throat> um, the, the good news about this is that I'm going to show you a system so that you never have to pay for leads again. I believe that paying for leads is a complete waste of money. Um, I know how to search on the internet for leads. I know how to search in MLS for leads. And you've got leads right there in front of you where to find them. The thing that you will never hear me do is you will never hear me try to sell you leads because I'm not going to do it. That's not what I do. My goal is to teach you how to call for sell by owners, how to get their listing, and how to stay in touch with them so that they eventually say, you're the only guy who keeps calling me. Um, some of you are going after for sale by owners and you call them once, twice, maybe three times, and then you give up because you're not getting the results that you're expecting. Um, the way I look at going after the for sale by owner market is you got to call them weekly. I've got a complete system that I'm going to lay out for you that's going to tell you exactly what to say the first time you call them, the second time you call them, the third time you call them. In addition to that, I'm going to show you follow-up emails to send them after every phone call. You should get the listing after about the seventh or eighth phone call. That means seven or eight weeks down the road, you will probably get that listing. Um, now, there are for sale by owners out there that don't want to list with you. They don't want to pay the commission, and that's okay. Because what I'm going to show you is how to categorize two different sets of people. You have the first set. Actually, there's three sets. The set number one is the for sale by owner that doesn't want to pay any commissions at all. Set number two is the for sale by owner that doesn't want to pay commissions, but he will pay 3% to the buyer's agent. Then there's the for sale by owner that is willing to pay the 3%, but he wants to do a flat fee listing. He wants to pay a one-time $500, 
And if a buyer's agent comes through, then he'll pay the 3%. Um, the first one is the hardest one to go after. The second one is actually the easiest over the flat fee person. The person that's willing to pay 3%, he's halfway there. I remember when I was a kid, my way of thinking was that I didn't like the word no. Uh, I hated no. Even when I was four years old, I would go to my mother and I would say, can I have such and such? And she would say no. And I thought in my mind, if I can get her to maybe, then I can talk her into yes. So what I'm going to teach you is how to have the mentality of when you hear no, get them to maybe. Because maybe always means yes. Some of you are quitting when you hear no. It's not no that they're saying. Get them to maybe. So here's what's going to happen in our seminar. It's going to be an all-day deal. First of all, I'm going to teach you to understand the personality type of the for sale by owner that you're going after. You think that because um, you are a laid-back person that all for sale by owners are laid back. That is incorrect. Most for sale by owners are type A. They're in charge. They want to do it all themselves. They don't need you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to identify one of the four different personality types that the for sale by owner is so that you'll know how to talk their language. The problem is you're trying to talk your language. You're not talking their language. The second thing I'm going to teach you what to say when you call them the very first time. What to say when you call them the second time. How to get their names, telephone numbers, and email address so that you can do follow-up emails behind the scenes while you're, not, well, uh, while you're out living your life. I'm also going to show you how to do email campaigns to send to these people so that you can show them things that you've done. You can send them stuff that's going to be of value to them. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go through role playing. Um, and I, uh, what I don't want to do is I want whoever you are, whoever you think that you're the best at role playing, I want you, because you know who you are, I want you to be the for sale by owner, and I'm going to call you, and we're going to do it right there in front of everybody, and you try to put me off. It'll be fun. This will be really fun. Because here's the deal. The reason that you don't call for sub owners is because you don't know what they're going to say. I know pretty much every single thing they're going to say, and I've got a rebuttal to every objection that I will hear. Because over the last 17 years, they all say the same thing every single time. I mean, it's, it varies by different words, but it, it's all about the same thing. So we're going to do some role playing. You're going to have some fun with that. I might even get Larry to, to do some role playing with me. It'll be great. Uh, can you see him with a hat doing role playing? It'll be awesome. All right. So the other thing we're going to do is um, we're going to get on the phone. And I want you all to hear me do some live phone calls to for sale by owners. Um, uh, then after that, we're going to talk about how to use the for sale by owner list that you've got to search for for sale by owners who listed. Remember that third set, the people that went flat fee? Every person who does a flat fee does not sell their house. So what happens is they list with a flat fee realtor, then it goes expired. I'm going to show you how to get names, telephone numbers, and email addresses from MLS because it's in there. It's free so that you can start calling the expired for sale by owners. So that kind of wraps up what's going to happen. It's going to be an all-day deal. Don't drink a lot of water because you ain't got time to take a break. I mean, we're going to take a break because I got to go, you know. Larry's got to go too. You know, he's getting old, so you know, older people they got to go to the bathroom. Yes. yes um. So, Larry, you got anything that you want to add to this? Yo, Larry, that your turn. You. Yes. Give me a second. I'm adjusting the audio. Uh, there was an echo because I had desktop and mic turned on, but now I have only the mic. Can you still hear me, Robert?
Okay, I can't. A little bit louder, dude. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Isn't that a Verizon commercial? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, barely, but we can hear you. Okay, perfect. So what, what do I have to do with all this? Well, uh, I'm not a realtor. Hopefully you understand that. I will never pretend to be a realtor. Okay, I don't, under, I don't understand what you guys are going through. I don't uh, know the experience. I don't know the knowledge that you're supposed to know. I just kind of assume that you guys uh, are licensed, which means you guys know what you're doing. I trust you, right? Uh, now, of course, I might be a better lender if I knew everything about your business and what you do. But in reality, I'd rather focus my energy on what I'm supposed to do and let you focus on what you are supposed to do, which is why I have friends and connections, right? I'm telling you all this because I want to, uh, you to understand I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm not trying to tell you what you should do. I'm just telling you my ideas as to what I would do if I was in your position and my ideas as to what I can do as a lender for you to help your business. So. Robert touched upon the idea of talking to for sale by owners, getting lists, uh, having potential prospects that you might be able to convert from for sale by owner to become a listing that would list with you. Um, I have ideas and uh, I would say assets that I've already employed where you can use this information and enhance it using social media. Uh, you can use automated technology, you can use resources that are free, that are available, and you can literally organize and make this uh, almost like an automated uh, prospecting system for your for sale by owners that you are trying to convert. Uh, there's different approaches, different conversations that you can have with these for sale by owners and expireds that would entice these people to uh, get involved in your social media assets, right? I'll give you a quick example. Uh, I can show you how you can literally guide for sale by owners to join a group that you administer, that you created and you run. I can show you how to guide those type of people into your group and always stay in front of them. Now, let's say you don't convert them and they don't want to work with you uh, as their listing agent, or they don't want to have anything to do with you, but they they respect you, they trust you, they know that you know, you're just doing your job, and if they have any real estate uh, related questions, they do contact you. Well, I would show you how you can get these people to join a group that you run, and they would be a part of a community of other force of owners, and they would uh, literally talk to each other, discuss strategies, maybe a vent, right? Whatever, but it would be a community of people who are in this category that would feel like it's a safe space because it's a group of them and you're the administrator. And in that case, you really wouldn't be selling to them or trying to wedge yourself into the process. You're literally just providing value and a form for them to discuss. And obviously, uh, with for sale owners, they might, be interested in talking to each other, maybe buying homes from each other. You never know, right? Uh, but I will show you tactics as to how to create groups like that and then, of course, lead people into those groups and literally have uh, sort of a pool of potential prospects for listings uh, and, and at the same time protect, you know, I call it protecting your pipeline. You can literally protect your pipeline. So all the force of our owners that you do not convert, you can still stay in front of them and make them someone that you can always uh, stay in front of and, and send information to them. So that'd be uh, some of the strategies that I would teach. And I also would uh, show you how you can find uh, possible force of our owners and how you can uh, communicate to them and literally, again, guide them to whatever assets you want them to. Right. So you have something there. There's something else I've noticed. Something else I've noticed with um, a lot of people that don't want to go after for sale by owners. They're looking at the for sale by owners as only a seller. They're not just a seller. Right. Because when they sell that house, keep in mind, they're not going to go move to a tent. They're not going to go live in a hotel. They're probably going to either A, move to an apartment, which you can refer them to an apartment complex and get a referral fee on that. They're going to B, lease a house, 
you can help them with a lease house or they're going to buy a house. So if you are staying away from for sale by owners because you don't like working with sellers, that's okay because I'm going to talk to you as the buyer's agent too on the approach to use to work with them when they sell their house. And I've already got the stuff to say to them to get them to want to talk to you as the buyer's agent and for them to feel like you're not going after their listing because there are going to be some of you that come to this event. You hate working with sellers. I mean, that's just the way it is. I, Robert Russell, I hate working with buyers. So I understand what you're talking about. I mean, I really do. I don't have the patience to with it anymore. So this, this seminar is going to be how to work with sellers who will then turn into a buyer for you or how to work with them as a buyer so that Larry can do the mortgage form. And we're going to show you how to use those two processes of the lender part and the buyer's part to pre-qualify these people so that they're ready to go when they sell their house. And that's where Larry's going to come in because he's going to show you all the stuff that we're going to talk about on social media. I mean, there's so many things you can do on social media that he, he hadn't even touched on, but we're going to go into detail stuff. I'm telling you, bring a legal pad. Don't drink any water. Forget about breaks. We ain't taking breaks. Are we taking breaks, Larry? Uh, I guess we're taking breaks. <laughs> uh, well, we're know, taking a few breaks. There's probably be, going to be a couple of uh, smokers in the, in the crowd, so we do have a <laughs> Oh, there are lots of oh, we'll have a smoker's break. Okay. All right. And then the if you got to go to the bathroom, then go while they're smoking their money. For sure. Okay. Well, that's it for me. Uh, this is, thing is going to be huge. I've taught this class many, many times. I travel all over the United States teaching how to do this. Um, one story I do want to tell you. Um, many years ago, there's a, um, a company that has a mastermind group where they sell leads two realtors and they do uh, webinars on what to say. Well, the owner of this company called me and he said, Hey, I've heard about you. I said, really, what have you heard? He said, I've heard that you are very successful going after for sale by owners. I said, well, I don't know how, what successful means to you. He said, well, I heard you're like the top dog in, in Dallas in the for sale by owner market. He said, what I'd like for you to do is teach my guys how to go after for sub honors. And I'm thinking, huh, this is awesome. How much are you going to pay me? And he said, well, I was hoping you would do it for free. And I said, free? He said, yeah. I said, so you want me to give all of my information to other realtors so that I can put myself out of business. He said, well, now that you put it that way, it's, it's going to help everybody. I said, well, let me tell you this. You don't have enough money to pay me to do this. And he said, well, what's your price? I said, you don't have it. He said, what's your price? I said, $100,000. He said, I don't have that kind of money. I said, I told you. So he hung up on me which was good because I didn't want to talk to him anyway. Two years later, he calls me back and he goes, Hey, um, have you reconsidered doing my deal? I said, yes, I have reconsidered. My price is now 200,000 instead of a hundred thousand. He hung up me again. I checked the internet to see if he's still around and the company I think is out of business because I can't find him on the internet. I don't want to say who it is, but, I think they're going bye-bye. So here's my words of wisdom. And this is something I'm going to say over and over. Quit buying leads. Do not subscribe to Red X. By the time we're done, you're going to cancel your Red X subscription or what other subscription that you're paying for leads because it's a waste of money. I'm going to show you how to do this stuff for you. So that's all I got. Larry, what you got? All right. So I'm going to close it up. If you don't mind, boss. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, and again, I, I don't, I don't pretend to be a realtor. You guys have a totally different set of skills and experiences and expectations that I don't have. So if you want to buy leads or not buy leads or whatever, that's going to be Russell's, uh, Robert Russell's department. My department is how to integrate that to social media.
okay? Um, and why would this matter to me? Why would this presentation or the people involved in this presentation, why would you guys matter to me? Uh, I'll give you a couple of reasons. Number one, I want to bring value to every single person I talk to, uh, whether you work with me or not, it doesn't matter. Okay, and if you follow me, if you are part of any of my groups, you'll know that I give a lot more than I actually expect. Okay, uh, it's just it's just fun for me. This is like a passion for me. Okay, so when people want to talk about social media, mm -hmm. yeah, if people if people don't want to work with me on social uh, work with me, but they want to hear about social media, I'm geeked out. Okay, it, it excites me. So uh, that's one thing that I gained from it. But another thing that I gained from it is that if you do. Uh, get something out of our presentation, which we know you will, uh, I hope that you might consider uh, working with us to uh, be involved in that transaction however we can, whether we're helping you uh, manage the groups or we're helping you, uh, you know, evaluate the homes or we're helping you pre-qualify the buyers that get involved in the for sale by owner or the for sale by owner themselves. It doesn't matter. We're just hoping to be a part of it, but there's no expectations because obviously we're presenting this to everybody who is willing to pay and show up, right? Um, someone did ask when and where uh, and uh, how much. Uh, when is, we're, we're looking at, at March uh, pretty soon, pretty quickly, okay? We're still trying to figure out where. We have a couple of options. Uh, we had a really a large event in my building. Uh, unfortunately, that venue is um, it, it's raised a lot in price, and we we have we want to look at other options just in case because we want to keep this venue uh, affordable for everybody who's involved. Uh, so we don't want to charge an arm and leg just because we were too lazy to do our due diligence and find a good place to have a venue. But we also want you to be comfortable and enjoy the venue itself. So we're still shopping that right now, but it's going to be in the Dallas area for sure uh, because Robert's nice enough to fly down and I'm too lazy to go anywhere else, okay? Uh, but <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the second question is uh, how much? Uh, we're we're kind of toying around with around the idea of under a hundred dollars, but above fifty, right? So anywhere between a, a fifty dollars to a hundred dollars is what we're looking at. Um, so we're trying to make it affordable, but we also want to make sure that we cover all our expenses. Again, Robert is flying uh, from Florida. You know he's going to need a, a you know. A, a, stuff taken care of and there's a few other expenses that we want to cover uh but we want to make it again affordable i can ride my bike yeah <laughs> yeah no then they, it would be like 2019 before we had this event and he was about his bike right <laughs> but yeah we, we we want to have it in dallas we want to make it affordable so under 100 dollars, but so probably above 50 and we're still considering the venue but we just want to uh, you know of course get this out here uh, out there so you guys know what we're planning and you know of course uh, you know people who are interested will probably connect with us anyways and we will communicate the details there uh, and you know you know me i'm really good at making a lot of noise and annoying people with my information don't worry you'll know when and where and how much soon enough uh, if that makes any sense uh, so i'm done uh, do you have anything else to say uh, before i uh, close the broadcast boss um, nothing for me. I'm just excited to be able to do this. Um, the for sale by owner in the expired market is something that I'm extremely passionate about. I feel like I'm really good at this and, I, and I'm really looking forward to the idea of somebody taking me on and you be the for sale by owner and let me call you in front of everybody so that you can abuse me in front of, you know, everybody in, in the crowd. It'll be great. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm looking forward to someone trying to beat you down, Robert, for sure. I want to see if someone can, can, can beat you. It would be <laughs> especially live. I'll, I'll probably record it just so I can have it on record that you got <laughs> Oh, I got sick. I can't make it. Uh... <laughs> uh, so, again, guys, thanks for tuning in. I know this is a really ghetto way to stream the both of us, but, uh, you know, I'm all about ghetto webinars. That's why my hashtag is ghetto webinars. And I actually have ghettowebinars.com. Uh, if you want more information, uh, of course, you can uh, reach out to uh, Robert J. Russell or Larry Lee Dash Lender, uh, or uh, you can join the Robot Army. I talk about a lot of the information we have in there, or you can subscribe to Real Estate uh, Influencers. And uh, of course, uh, if you want to plug some of your assets, Robert, you can go ahead and we can tag it in the, the video as well. Um, if y'all have any questions for me, you're more than welcome to call me. 
My number is 972-679-9029. If you have any questions, um, keep in mind that I am still full-time, so um, I'm not going to be able to talk to you for hours and hours and hours. So um, if you want to send me a message on Facebook, I can probably reply pretty fast to that. If you want to text me, um, I can text really fast, even when I'm on the phone. So text me, too, if you have any questions. Larry, thank you very much for having me on here. Um, I'm glad to be a part of this elite group of followers that follow you. Um, that means I got to take a shower that day too, don't I? Yeah, you definitely have to because I'm gonna shower, and you don't want me to out be <sighs> on stage when it comes. To well, it's a good thing we're doing this on Friday because I brush my teeth on Friday, so this is good. Perfect. I I knew that too. I, that's why I chose Friday. I knew that. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. I'll bring some Pepsi in. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, really appreciate you guys, uh, of course, uh, tuning in. Uh, this is uh, Robert J. Russell and Larry the Boys Guy. We're out. Okay. Bye-bye now.